a small ball is projected with speed u meters per second from a point o at the top of a vertical cliff the point o is 25 meters vertically above n which is the horizontal ground the ball is projected at an angle of 45 degrees the ball hits the ground at a where a to n is 100 meters the motion of the ball is modeled of that of a particle moving freely under gravity using this initial model show that u is 28 so we've got a projectile so we can use suvat so we can do suvat for the horizontal motion and suvat for the vertical motion so we can have horizontal horizontally and vertically so s u v a t s u v a t so horizontally we have 100 meters traveled so displacement of 100 the initial speed is u cos 45 it's not accelerating acceleration zero so we can also say v is u cos 45 and we don't know the time vertically it goes down 25 meters so we could say displacement's negative 25 the initial velocity is well u sine 45 we don't know the final velocity we know the acceleration is due to gravity so we'll say minus g or minus 9.8 and we don't know the time so we need to work out u so let's do our the time must be the same for both of those so let's use that and let's do s equals ut plus half a t squared for both of them so for horizontally it's just s equals ut because a is zero so s equals u t so 100 equals u cos 45 times t for vertically s equals u t plus half a t squared so negative 25 is u sine 45 times t plus half of minus g times t squared so let's eliminate t so let's firstly well let's write t equals divide both sides by u cos 45 so 100 over u cos 45 and then substitute this t into our vertical equation so we've got minus 25 is u sine 45 times t which is 100 over u cos 45 now cos 45 and sine 45 are the same they are going to cancel out plus half times negative g times t squared so 100 over u cos 45 squared so u sine 45 and u cos 45 they cancel out they're the same number so we have negative 25 equals 100 plus half times negative g times 100 over u cos 45 squared so square the top square the bottom 
So 100 squared is 10,000 over u squared. So cos 45 is root 2 over 2. Cos 45 squared is a half. So we can cancel out the halves. And that will give us. We can also take away 100 from both sides. So let's say we've got minus 125 equals minus 10,000 G over U squared. So let's times both sides by U squared. Divide both sides by 125. So U squared will be 10,000 G over 125. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So the negative signs have cancelled out. So we've got 10,000 over 125, which is 80. So U squared is 80 G. U will be the square root of 80 G. So square root of 80 times 9.8, and that's 28. It equals 28 meters per second. So two significant figures. Part B, find the greatest height of the ball above the horizontal ground NA. So the greatest height of the ball is when the vertical velocity is equal to zero. When it reaches the top, it hasn't got a positive or a negative velocity. It's got a velocity of zero. So with our vertical, we want a velocity of zero. So SUVAT. We don't know what the displacement is. We know u was 28 cos or sine 45. It doesn't really matter which one. Sine 45. V is 0. Acceleration due to gravity is minus 9.8. And we're working out the displacement. So we can use the one without t in it, which is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So that leaves us with 0 equals u squared, which is 28 sine 45 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8 times the displacement. So 28 sine 45 squared is 392 and that's so 0 equals 392 minus 19.6 s so let's add 19.6 s to both sides divide both sides by 19.6 And we get 20. So the displacement is 20. What was the question? Find the greatest height. So 25 from where it started plus 20 is 45. 45 meters above the ground. In a refinement to the model, of the motion of the ball from O to A, the effect of air resistance is included. This refined model is used to find a new value of U. How would this new value of U compare with 28? So in order for the ball to go to, uh, 100 meters, in order for it to move the same distance with air resistance, it would have to be projected with a higher speed. So U would have to be higher. 
So the U, the new U would be higher. The new value of U would be higher or greater. Part D, state one further refinement of the model that would make the model more realistic. So what modeling assumptions were used in the model that we can say we would get rid of? So the ball is modeled as a particle. So we could say we would not model it as a particle. So we could, the ball could not be modelled as a particle. 